Well, you're the last person I expected to see getting all chummy with Koro's sensei. What's your game? Implying? I'm not implying anything. I'm just piecing together a few observations of mine and forming a reasonable hypothesis, just as we do in science. Which observations? Let's start with the most damning, shall we? You rarely ever talk to anyone, least of all the octopus, when you can avoid it, of course. Sometimes, though, he can get a bit... irritated if people don't respond to him or attempt to ignore him. I've noticed that you tend to avoid him, and usually you avoid discussing things in groups. Like I said, not the most sociable person in this class. And to add on to that, in addition to never talking in groups, you also don't help with assassination attempts. You just prefer to sit in the corner, looking at your phone, or reading, or drawing something in your sketchbook. Look, whatever you're doing, I don't get it. But whatever it is, it's working. Come on, I can see through the act. You're pretending to be Karo-sensei's friend and you're gonna stab him in the back. Or shoot him in the back, or find some other way to kill him, right? Oh, please. You can't hide anything from me. Take it from a professional assassin in the making. I know what fake friendship looks like. I see it all the time. And I try my best to make my friendships look like more than just fake friendships. Because, let's face it, I have a reputation for using people and manipulating them. And I don't want my actual friends to think that that's what I'm doing. But you? You're definitely trying to get something out of Koro's sensei. What is it? You trying to gain his trust? You trying to make it seem like you're all buddy-buddy with him when in actuality you want to rip his heart out? Come on, you can tell me. I'm not going to try and thwart your plans. If anything... I'll try to help you out. At least so I can get a front row seat to this bloodbath. Really? Still denying it? All right, then, if you say so. What? Of course. I can keep anything a secret. After all, I kept my assassination attempts a secret, didn't I? That was different. How so? Isn't this essentially the same thing? Oh, right. It doesn't exactly benefit me except to entertain me. And if you're the one to stick him in his grave, then I don't get to fulfill my promise of killing him. But I digress. True, it doesn't benefit me the way I want it to, but it's still going to be rather entertaining. I won't tell a soul, especially not Koro-sensei. He already knows? Knows what? Come on, don't chicken out now. Give me the juicy details. I want to know exactly what that tentacle bastard is in for. What? It's not an assassination attempt. Okay, you're playing a really weird game here. You know that, right? Yes, you are. I know games, and this definitely is a game to you. Look, I already know that you're planning an assassination attempt. You don't have to... Okay. Okay. There's no need to yell or get all hostile. Just tell me what's going on, okay? I won't accuse you of lying to me. I won't interrupt your story or whatever. Just... Tell me what's going on, okay? Yeah, obviously that got me to shut the hell up. You're always quiet. You never talk to anyone, and you never raise your voice like that. Something tells me that whatever this is, it's pretty serious. What's going on with you? Oh, come on. This isn't a business meeting of any kind. You don't have to introduce yourself. All right, fine. Knock yourself out. Just... I'm sorry? That's, uh... That's not your name. 
Uh, no, it's not. When you first introduced yourself to me, that is certainly not the name that you used. Are you practicing with an alias or a different identity or something? Okay, that's your name. Um, I have no idea what's going on here, but I'll pretend that I do for the sake of the explanation. Fine, fine, I accept that that's your name. Can we please get on with the explanation of what you were talking to Koro Sensei about? You were talking to him about your name? Okay, so why did you change it or whatever? You just decide one day you wanted to change your name? It's more than that. Great. By all means, continue. Don't leave me in suspense. Oh, really? You've been questioning your gender identity lately. Oh... Oh, dear. Is that what you were talking to Koro-sensei about? Are you perhaps experimenting with a different name and different pronouns? Oh, dear. I, uh... I genuinely thought that you were planning to kill him, somehow, by pretending to be his friend and... Oh god, I look like a total jerk, don't I? Well, to be fair, I've always looked like a total jerk, haven't I? I guess I'm not really changing that image, but definitely a different kind of jerk. Um, okay then, if you're experimenting with different pronouns, what are the pronouns that you use now? They, them. Huh. I've... I've never heard someone use those pronouns for themselves, at least in the context that you want them to be used, that is. For instance, usually if you're using they-them pronouns to describe one person, it's because you don't know if they're male or female. So, is that the case with you, or... You're non-binary. Okay. Okay. I don't actually know what that means. Could you explain it to me? No, no, I really do care about this. Look, I know that I was being a real asshole before, but you're a classmate and a fellow assassin and hopefully someday a friend or at least an acquaintance that I can exploit. But that's beside the point. The point is I respect you. And because of that, I want to understand what it is that you're telling me. If you're non-binary, I'd like to know what that means. Okay, it means that you don't identify as specifically male or female. I figured that out. But what exactly does it mean? Oh. Oh, okay. So, because you don't identify as specifically male or female, it means you just identify as outside of the typical gender binary. Alright. So, you're just not a boy or a girl? Okay, then. Yeah, I mean, what else do you want me to say? Do you want me to say good on you for not being male or female, do you want me to... Oh. You are expecting me to say that you're... what? No, no, I want to hear you say it. What did you think I was going to say to you? Have people said this to you in the past? No, no. I genuinely want an answer to that question. Have people in the past thought that it was okay to tell you that you have to be specifically male or female, or that being non-binary isn't a thing? Have people told you that in the past? Answer the damn question before I shove mustard and wasabi up your nose. See? Was that really so difficult? 
All right, and can you give me their names and maybe their classes? Obviously, I know that some of them were classmates. Perhaps the ones on the main campus? All right, give me names. Just do it. I see. Yeah, those are the same jerks that used to tease Nagisa about looking like a girl. So then, it seems that we have a pattern of this behavior with them, huh? Oh, I don't agree with you there. It does matter. It matters a whole lot. Those smug assholes need to be taught a lesson, and not from their teachers. Look, I'll deal with them, okay? You just focus on getting through classes and whatever. And, uh, once again, I'd like to apologize for how I acted before. I know that you said it was okay since I thought you were planning to kill Koro-sensei, but really, I shouldn't have been pushing you so hard to tell me what you were going to do. And I kind of forcefully outed you. So, as a symbol of my regret and my wish for forgiveness, I am going to threaten to stab, or maybe actually stab, the people who were picking on you and harassing you. Sound fair? Well, what did you expect? I'm a sadist. Were you expecting me to just give them a lecture or something? Fine, fine, I'll try it your way. I will attempt to fight them with words, but if that doesn't work, the nose clip and mustard come out. Sound fair? All right. Oh, and is there anyone I shouldn't tell about this, or anyone that I should tell? Your parents? You don't want me to talk to your parents about this. Why is that? Answer me, I have the nose clip and wasabi in my bag right now. I'm sorry, what? They refuse to acknowledge your new name and pronouns. Okay, you're staying at my place this weekend. Sound good? Okay, great. Pack your bags as soon as you get home. You're staying the entire week. Oh, Oh, really? Your parents would never allow it? Make it a month, then. Let's really piss them off. They deserve it. No, no, it's technically not kidnapping since you're just staying over at a friend's house to study and plan to kill your teacher and perhaps plan to kill your parents? Okay, we're not going down that route yet. Well, if and when we do... Now, just when we do, I'll plan everything out. Maybe we can even get Nagisa to help. I'm sure he'd be down. Fine, fine, we won't kill your parents. But you're still staying with me for the next month, okay? I'm being serious. Look, if they don't respect you, they don't deserve to be a part of your life. You got it? Good. Now... Set a reminder on your phone. When you get home, pack your bags, pack everything you're going to need for the next month. I'll find a way to pick you up, and if need be, I'll just text you directions to my place. You're staying for the whole month, and, I don't know, we can find something fun to do. Now, let's just focus on killing Koro-sensei for the rest of the day. Sound good? Alright, sounds good.